So today we'll be just going ahead and just uh, setting up this uh, new iPhone 16e. So I'll just unbox this phone itself and we'll just go ahead and just see how to just set up this device. So uh, if you are the person who is just looking forward to just uh, want to know like how to initially set up the iPhone itself. So the process for the iPhone setting up is almost the same for all the iPhones. So this one is like a 16e. So we just go ahead and just first turn on the device for the first time over here. And this will be like a quick setup. It's quite easy, it's not that much uh, difficult to just uh, set up the iPhone. And we just go ahead and just uh, switch on the phone. I think it is switched on. We have switched on now we just go ahead and just uh so here's there's a language option so there's a couple of options that you can choose from while setting up the iphone itself so you can choose like whatever language you want to use iphone into and then the, if that's uh, available over here so you can just set it up accordingly so i'll just go ahead and just select the english language over here and now you can just select your region over here so there are a couple of regions like all of the countries available over here i'll just go ahead and just select the canada over here and now it's just setting up the language. Let's check if we can just increase the brightness on this one. No, not right now. Now there's like an appearance over here where you can just uh, choose like how you would like the text and the icons to look on the iPhone. So you can just set it to be medium if you have like a, some eye issues and you're the person who just want to just uh, use the phone uh, with the bigger phones and icons so it could be medium or either way you can just move ahead and go ahead with the large icons so uh, I will just keep it as uh, I think default uh, for the time being and I'll just go ahead and just continue this one now uh, there's a quick start over here where you can just set up your iPhone with another device it could be the iPhone itself or it could be just Android itself so it's just looking for the nearby devices for this iPhone to be set up with. So if you have like an old iPhone, so it just copies all the data, the app allocation on the home screen, everything like onto the iPhone, it will just uh, onto a new iPhone, which in this case, like the iPhone 16e. I'll just go ahead and just do the setup without another device right now. And uh, then we can just log into the uh, Wi-Fi, I just put the password over here. So it is just activating the iPhone now once it's being connected to the uh, network. So it says it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. So it's going to be like uh, activating your iPhone for the first time. Now there's some dead end privacy. Just go ahead and just continue, set up my iPhone. Now you can set it up the iPhone for yourself or for your child or any person in your family. Uh, so I want to just set up for myself. Now you can just uh, you can just set up the face ID right now if you want. You can just do it se separately like uh, later on. So I'll just go ahead and just do it separately. Now you can just set the password. Uh, so you can maybe select one, two, three, four, five, six, and uh, use it anyway. Two, three, four, five, six, and uh, yeah. So there, now there is like an option that it will give. Like if you have an old iPhone that you want the data to be transferred, or from your Mac or PC, or maybe from another uh, Android device, or maybe from the iCloud itself. So you can select whatever you want to do. Let's say, for example, if you want to do from Android, so. There's an app called like Move to iOS on your Android device. So you need to download the iOS, Move to iOS uh, app on your Android device to transfer the data to the, your iPhone. So in my case, like I don't want to transfer anything, let's say for example. So I'll just go ahead and just do the, I don't want to transfer anything. And then it's just asking for your Apple ID and password. 
So I just go ahead and just quickly just put the Apple ID over here. So once you have just set up the uh, Apple ID over here, it's just asking for the two factor authentication. Now you can just send the code on your phone itself. Now the one the code, once the code you have on your phone, so you can just uh, uh, put the code over here, which in this case is 6812.74 over here. Now it's asking for an update your iPhone automatically, so you can just only download automatically or you can just maybe continue over here. It's just asking for the location services where we can just turn on or you can maybe set up later. So, so yeah, it's asking for the setup cellular. So you might want to just uh, add the SIM and it should be good. It, I don't have the SIM right now to be put into this one. So I just do set up later in settings. And then here it gives you the option to just set up the Apple Pay over here. So if you want to set it up this one, so you can go ahead and just add a card like this, enter card to this manually, or you can just do set up later. Then it saves the screen time. Uh, so uh, it's about the weekly report on this one and just do set up later in settings. Then if you want to share your uh, data with the Apple Analytics, so if you want to offer that one, so you can, or you maybe, if you don't want to share, so you can, Say I don't want to share and then there's an option for the light or dark display over here so I just go ahead with the dark one I like this one a little bit better it's just better for conserving the battery better uh, than the light one just go ahead and just continue if you want to opt for the Apple intelligence I think there's no option you have to just do it so you could have to do continue and then continue for the visual intelligence and you can just set it up your uh, this action button over here onto the left and uh, you can just uh, customize it accordingly as you want to so you can just maybe use it to launch the camera or whatever you want to do so i'll just put it with this one to be used as a camera and i'll just go ahead and just continue and if you want to just set up the siri so you can or otherwise you can just go ahead and just uh, maybe do it set up later in the settings Emergency SOS, continue, crash detection, and welcome to the iPhone. You just swipe in and here's your new iPhone itself. Now I can just immediately notice like the 60 Hz display on this one feels pretty much or hitting hits you so much at this price point. Like it's uh, not that smooth at all. Like it feels like you're just using a phone from like a early 2000 uh 16 or 17 i would just say like uh the 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 smoothness is nowhere as comparable to the 120 hertz so yeah, that's all for today so this is how you set up the iphone itself which is like a part of the initial iphone setup this one was the iphone 16e for the rest of the iphone it works the same way almost i don't think there's any kind of difference in setting up the iphone and if you guys have any questions you can just let me don't know down in the comments and please like share and subscribe and thank you for watching again. Have a good day. Bye.